Hello guys, it's Fred here from Pro Tennis Trader. Hope you're well. Just a short video here on match selection. So you have your strategies in place and you're ready to start trading. But with the sheer volume of tennis matches going on each day, which matches should you choose to trade? So to give you an example of just how many matches there are going on on a daily basis, uh, today is February 27th, it's a Wednesday morning, and you can see just the sheer number of matches going on. We've got a, a couple of ATP tournaments going on. We've got Acapulco, Sao Paulo, and Dubai. In fact, there's three ATP, and there's one WTA, Indian Wells. There's quite a few challenger matches going on as well. But on the whole, I like to stick to ATP and WTA tournaments. So with all of these matches going on, we need to have a look at ways to narrow down these matches to see what are the best trading matches. Now the first one is odds prices of the players. Now this of course is something that those of you who have taken the course know all about you know what prices you should be looking for to adopt the different strategies. So you know whether a match has the potential to be a good trading match. So let's take for example this match with Nishikori going on today Wednesday the 27th of February. Now Nishikori is starting this match at the price of 1.16 and his opponent is starting at the price of 7. So you can notice straight away this probably won't be a very good trading match. But as I said if you've taken and completed the course you know what to look out for in terms of odds prices. The second thing to look at when choosing which matches to trade is the liquidity of the market, i.e. the amount of money matched on that market. Now I'm asked a lot about this by people taking the course, so I'll cover this here. Basically, I'm finding that a lot of people are missing out on great trading matches because they're looking at the amount of money matched either a few hours before the match or in some cases just before the match starts and avoid it as it looks like there is not much money being matched. The fact is that the amount of money matched in a market, i.e. the liquidity of the market, multiplies and multiplies during the match and very often even just in the first set. So a match might just have a starting liquidity of say £20,000 before it starts and then during the first set might have £150,000 matched. And then by the end of the second set might have £400,000, £500,000 matched. And this happens time and time again with the majority of major tennis matches. So let's have a look at the liquidity of some matches going on at the moment. So we've got the Acapulco Open and this is just a first round match. You see there's over £500,000 matched on the Zeng match. Now Zeng is obviously a top player, so there is a fair amount matched here. But the important thing here is this is just a first round match. But still, loads and loads of liquidity. And if we have a look at the other matches going on, you'll notice that the other first round matches in the Acapulco Open um, do not have much matched, but that's because they are sort of lesser known players. And moving on to the Sao Paulo ATP tournaments, you'll notice here there are some big names, particularly Leonardo Mayer. Now, at the moment, there's only £297 matched. So if you were looking at this match now and deciding whether to trade, you might avoid it. But guaranteed, there will be hundreds of thousands of pounds matched on that game. Another one here, Batista Agot, £10,000. Again, when that starts, it will go up probably over 500000 maybe even nearer the, the million mark. Same goes for the Monfils match. That will certainly go up to a lot of liquidity. Now, the thing you've got to bear in mind here is now is Wednesday morning and these matches are going on this evening. Therefore, traders are just not entering the market because there's no point in tying up your money for that period of time. 
So how much liquidity should there be in a match before you enter a trade? Now remember, this is the liquidity in the match before you are ready to put in a trade, not before the game starts. As I said already, the liquidity will multiply and multiply during the match. Now, these rules are not set in stone. They are a rough estimate. Of course, there are loads of different factors to take into account. However, as a rough guide, if you have a trading bank of £100, then you need to look for minimum liquidity of £20,000. Now, pretty much nearly, I think, 99% of tennis matches going on on a daily basis reach this amount of liquidity. £500 trading bank, £80,000, £1,000, £100,000, £2,500 trading bank, you're looking at about £150,000 minimum liquidity, and then kind of anything above this, and even around the sort of £5,000 mark for a trading bank, you need to really have a minimum liquidity of £200,000. And it's really not difficult to find these matches going on on a day-to-day -day basis. If we just look at the example we looked at earlier, it was the first round of the Acapulco Open, not even a major tournament. And the Zeng match uh, had over £500,000 matched. So I'd kind of like to emphasise here that liquidity is just not an issue. Over time, you'll be able to spot very easily which matches will have lots of liquidity as you get to know more of the players and the higher ranked players. But for most people, including myself, I've literally never had a problem with liquidity in the market. And so the third point that I would like to bring attention to in this video is the analysis. And this is the head-to-head -head analysis and individual player analysis. Now, I would always recommend doing some analysis on players and you can use flashscores.com. On this website, you can look at both players' previous matches so you can see how strong their serving is, the results of their previous head-to-head -head matches and their recent form. So you can use this to determine whether you think a match has the potential to be a good trading match. At Pro Tennis Trader, we actually do all of this for you with our Platinum Traders service and you can get trading reviews of all of the selections as well. You can find out about this on our website and obviously this saves you a lot of time and a lot of messing around looking at analysis when choosing which matches to trade for that day. As always, thank you for watching and good luck with your trading.